Man, in today's video, I'm talking about something that I hope that a lot more older women would have the kind of courage to talk about because one thing is, a woman is quick to try to correct and control a man. But when it comes time to teach and train the younger women according to biblical standards or to correct or to rebuke, all y'all lips is locked. Today, I'm here to talk about this baby hair epidemic. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another episode, man. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. You know, man, when we think about this, this baby hair epidemic has gotten crazy. And this is led by mainly the daughters of Zion. You don't see, you know, other cultures, other nations you know, taking hair that's not even baby hair. And I'm talking about when you hear these women get up in front of this camera, it's usually a face full of makeup. They didn't took hair that's not baby hair and they call it, uh, these edges is laid. You know, these edges is on fleek looking crazy as they can. What, what in your right mind would cause you to take hair and, and pretty much drape it in an artistic manner all over your forehead. And it's like, I, I, I'm wondering like, what, what, what's going on? Is you, do you have a big forehead and that's the reason why you don't want to, to show it? You know, there's other options out there that don't look as crazy. For one, you could wear a head covering. If you got a big forehead, you could wear a head covering. You know, there's even videos out there with women taking wig hair not day hair wig hair and doing their edges with the wig hair and this is the kind of stuff women don't say nothing to each other and this is where you got uh i've done videos on the history of these eyelashes these cumbrellas started by a doggone prostitute you wearing this mess to church because the older women don't Say nothing. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, young lady. How you doing today? You doing all right? Th that generation of women is gone that would pull the younger women in and say something. Nowadays, we dealing with the older women that's complimenting the younger women because the younger women is getting the attention and these older women want some of the attention because they didn't messed up and made some bad choices in life. You see these women with these eyelashes that you know is glued on and they struggling to blink. Older women, you got to say some. Girl, what, what in your right mind made you come out and wear this? You don't have to do all that. You don't have to do all that. And then show them in the word where they have erred. What precept they have erred. Man, it, 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 it's, it's painful as a man. I want you to think, man, there's a, there's a man out there that is a father, that is a husband, and has to say this in the house because the mama, the wife won't say nothing. The mama is complimenting. Oh yeah, you know, I got to do my daughter's lashes. You teaching your daughters this stuff at an early age and they just vain as hell, eight years old, nine years old, 10 years old, 11 years old, 13 years old, 12 years old, just vain. You got to understand, man, we, this baby hair, you got more women out there that know how to do this baby hair. And I blame, I blame, you know, if I'm going to be comical, I blame Ashanti because Ashanti was the one that she had them. You got to think she had them long sideburns, you know, that you could have made pork chops out of. And Back then, people was talking about, women was talking about them long sideburn, but now everybody want this, this, this baby hair. I didn't seen baby hair come from all the way down here and swoop and swirl and come all the way down. I'm like, man, not you got it going on your cheeks. This is crazy. 
Women do not understand how crazy they look. You couple that with uh, the baby hair epidemic, baby hair crisis. Some of y'all know y'all ain't got no doggone baby hair. Know your edges is blown out. And what do you do? You take some of that top of the top of the head hair and pull it all the way down and use that old dirty toothbrush. Men out here, this I'm telling you. You got to hide your toothbrushes around these baby hair bandits. This is this is a doggone shame. And and here's another one. You go to the church, you see this stuff, you see these cumbrellas, you see the face full of deception. This is doggone shame, man. It, the, the older women is supposed to be teaching the younger women. And because they don't do that, they just sit back, well, I ain't going to say nothing. No, that is your job. Just like a man to tell the younger man, hey, pull your pants up off your butt. Don't you know somebody will be up in your butt? What's wrong with you? Put on a belt. How you got on a belt and still say, you, you Man, men don't have no problem because we will stand on our own might and do it. We ain't looking for nobody to corral us and and, and come behind us and support us. But it, it seems like if women are going to face any kind of shame behind righteousness, that will deter them from doing it. The average woman. From telling, telling, telling the young one, hey, no, 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 no. Just, just, just a regular ponytail will do. You ain't got to do all that extra stuff to your, you need, matter of fact, you already late for work trying to work on your, man, I, I had a video up on this channel of a, a, a young lady by the name of Tatiana. It sounded like she said Tatiana. She got fired from her job. Guess what? Edges was laid. Edges was laid, as women say. You sitting up repetitively late because your edges ain't right. Don't nobody give a damn about your edges. Man, don't nobody give a dang about your edges. Flip that. I'm telling you, man, you got somewhere, somehow, a man's palate and stomach is suffering behind a woman that knows how to do everything vain but can't cook nothing. She just in there, uh, she just in there fixing. When when we when the when the older woman gonna get back to correcting and rebuking? and teaching against this stuff. We don't need no damn Sarah Jakes promoting the wig bandits and baby hair bandits. We don't need that. That's even unbiblical. When are we gonna have the women actually, uh, you know, learn real skills of how to keep the house? We got baby hair bandits out here that don't even know how to iron. This is all stuff that I learned at an early age. Eight years old, how to iron. I'm not, my grandparents, hey, we're not ironing that for you. You're going to get in here and iron it. That way you have real skills. And that's a lot of the, that's a lot of the problem when it comes to not only, you know, this baby hair epidemic, but it's how much time the modern woman has spent learning how to be very vain. And then, then when you get this woman at home, she doesn't have any skills. She don't know how to do anything. Only thing this society has promoted her and the only thing the women around her have supported. You, you got uh, women teaching their daughters. You got more women teaching their daughters how to do makeup than how to cook. I can't make this up. And I know it. I know it sounds hard, but what good are these vain women going to be to a man, a good man? Any woman can lay on her back and make a baby. But what 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 substance is this woman going to have if the only thing she's focused on is eyelashes, a big booty, makeup, getting this uh, grown adult hair, trying to call it baby hair? This is crazy. I can't make this stuff up, man. But I tell you, right now you're seeing that men is not fooling with you crazy looking women. One thing about being a happily married man, 
I tell my wife, I don't, my wife want to do something because it's trending. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Nope. That looks crazy. And I'm telling you that because I love you. A lot of women don't have, they don't even have the women in their family to tell them how crazy they look. They getting complimented on looking crazy. And what did that do? That makes your ego inflated and you, you, you go even harder in your vanity. You go even harder in it. Since when this baby hair touch your eyebrows, you got two, three inches of forehead and you got this baby hair coming over your eyebrow. This is crazy. And then you got the nerve to have some bad, uh, what is it? Bad edge grease or edge control. And it's stuff caked all up on there. It looks crazy. This looks crazy. Not like I'm telling you, men are not fooling with you crazy looking women. You crazy on the outside and crazy behind closed doors. Crazy when they try to put you in the house. Nope, men is saying, nope, we good. We good. Something, something is off mentally with you coming outside with that, with that hair glued to your forehead looking crazy. Got the nerve to have a, 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 a wig and then try to get baby hair off. Like, nope, men is making a hard pass. And this is when you see women saying, how come men ain't coming to the brunches? How come men ain't approaching women no more? How come women, how come men ain't doing this? And men, think about it. Men is not approaching you if you look like a doggone Decepticon, look like a Transformer. These, a lot of these modern women are doing the same rhetoric that the doggone transgenders is doing. Doing the same nonsense. And then have, have the nerve to, 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 to do all that worldly feminine stuff and be masculine as hell up under all that. Telling you, man, it, it, it's a doggone shame. And, and one thing about it is I know it's, I know the message is kind of raw and rough, but I'm hoping, a, I'm hoping a, a, a sister see this. And I want you to understand if you let go of all that stuff, you know, ain't nothing wrong with putting on a little chapstick, uh, maybe a little lip gloss. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But when you start doing all this greatness, it's deception. You want somebody to focus on your baby hair instead of testing the spirit in you. And a lot of these women be asking, these men be so lustful of their flesh. Women ask, how do I look? And you be like, oh, you look amazing. Women look crazy as heck. And this is why you always entertain the men that only want to sleep with you. This is why you don't get the men that uh, want marriage, want a family, you know, want to cover you spiritually. How are you going to cover a woman spiritually and she going out doing everything vain, everything uh, worthless, everything trending? It's hard to cover a woman like that. That's why these men is not approaching women these days. These women, like I said, they out here looking like the doggone transgender. There once used to be a separation. You knew, oh no, he that brother's one of them. He over there transforming. And the women would would you could tell the difference. Now they, they got the same get up, the same costume. The transgender got on the wig, woman got on the doggone wig. Transgender got on makeup, woman got on the makeup. Transgender got on high heels, transgender got on hooker heels with a size 12, woman got on doggone hooker heels. Transgender want to dress butt naked. Woman want to dress butt naked. Men is like, nope, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And I tell you, man, you will get more, more attention. Not, you will get more quality attention from a man if you present yourself not in such a vain way. Listen to me, them long, them super long nails that's trending now, where well, they just glue them long things on and just paint them, like what? Look crazy. A lot of y'all can't even wipe your butt. There's videos, there's videos on the internet of men talking about, man, I couldn't eat this woman food. She had stuff caked all up under her nails. 
Man, this woman had them long nails on and her and her booty stinked. You you can't wipe and clean yourself. I can't make this stuff up. This stuff is out here. And y'all walk around uh smiling. Like this is funny. And a man look at you, his eyes big, and he hit you with a head nod and keep going, then that means you look crazy. That means you look crazy. Man, older women. You see what I'm saying? This message wouldn't hit so hard. Wouldn't be so raw if the older women were speaking on this. You see these young girls in your family? Hey, it should be a lesson every time, every time the young girls in your family come around you, it should be uh, the kind of love that's filled with lessons. The kind of love that y'all have for each other as women is very vain. Y'all stick together in foolishness. Sisterhood sticks together in kind of in, in all kind of foolishness and worthless stuff. I'm telling you, a woman is very quick to try to control, you know, and tell a man what he's done wrong and all of this. But you don't see this, you don't see this, you know, this vain problem like this going on with men. We will, men will outcast uh, uh, another man in a heartbeat. Brother show up to work and got a wig on. Oh, oh no quite. Oh, brother. Hey, hey. Yesterday you had a full head of hair. And the day you got this thing sitting up on your head like a helmet. Yeah, brother. All right. Yep. Yep. We know what time it is. And we're going to say something. Man, what you doing with that sitting up on your head like that? A man will say something. Is that makeup you got on? That's why, uh, that's why when you saw Kurt Franklin wearing lipstick and, uh, and, and makeup, men was like, oh, heck no. Nope. Nope. We not coming up complimenting this stuff. Hey, bro, that's a nice foundation you got. Man, is that, where you get that mascara from? We not sitting on complimenting this vanity because no. Telling you, man, y'all better get it together closer to y'all ministries kicking it gun barrel straight.